For years, the HPI Vorza buggy was a go-to car for nitro and electric bashing. It was fast, durable, and a lot of fun. Now, hot on the heels of their Truggy release, HPI is releasing a new version of the Vorza buggy. Can this new buggy live up to the reputation the old one had? Stick around, we're going to take a closer look. But before we do, I want to invite you guys to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified. We've got some really cool videos coming up, including this giant pile of Vitavon that I'm going to be putting on my Traxxas sledge to see if going really heavy and really aluminum makes the truck weaker or stronger and if this pile of upgrades is just enough or way overboard you're not going to want to miss it all right let's take a closer look just like the vorza truggy that they recently came out with the new vorza buggy is going to come in three different flavors you've got your nitro which i know you nitro enthusiasts are going to be really happy about and then you've got two flux versions you've got the lower spec flux version which has plastic shocks and 6061 bits here and there towers are 6061 chassis etc and a lower spec steering servo then you've got the vorza s buggy which comes with 7075 towers 7075 chassis aluminum shocks 7075 hinge pin braces and a higher spec steering servo now whichever one of these versions you get you're going to be getting a sweet new cab forward looking body some new wheels and tires i think the tires look really nice there's some pin style with little hpi logos built into them wheels look nice and modern you're also going to be getting that 8 bl 150 combo from hobby wing that comes with the 150 amp esc and a 2200 kv brushless motor it's going to be an all-steel drivetrain with a really nice set of machined spiral bevel ring and pinion gears that have been really durable on these in the past and I expect them to continue to be now. It's going to have adjustable links for both camber and toe. Of course you'll have a center differential and you've got a nicely adjustable battery tray with velcro straps which should be compatible with a lot of different batteries. Rounding that out you get a new transmitter and receiver. The receiver is supposedly waterproofed inside and this transmitter is an updated version of their most popular transmitter that they've been using for years and years and it looks like it's going to be a really nice update. Now beyond that, this looks a lot like the old version of the Vorza, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The old Vorza was a very strong, durable, fun, fast buggy. It was a little bit heavy, but with that weight came really good durability. Assuming they've kept that durability in there, this should be a really fun basher. Let me know, are you excited for this to come out? Are you going to pick one of these or one of the new Truggies up? Personally, I'm still on the fence about them. I'm going to wait and see some more videos come out and we'll see how they handle and how durable they are. Otherwise, they're going to really struggle to be competition for the other brands. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see future videos. Hit the bell to get notified and we'll see you in the next one.